the Bible is the mark of the beast. Now, I've been teaching about the foundation. You've got to build your house on its firm foundation. You can't build it on the sand. See, and it's, it's too late now for most people. They built their house on this book, and their house will fall. They'll be bitter because they built their house on the Bible instead of on, on the Holy Ghost. So remember now, this is the foundation that God wrote in my heart. I prayed under a tree for three years. And here's your first one. You remember, Jesus is the chief cornerstone. That's your first. All the other stones lines up on Jesus. Everything lines up on Jesus. And then the second one, remember, was repent. Remember what I taught you. Like the little lady came before General Napoleon and was... I uh, asked him for her son. He's going to kill her son because he had done some wrong things. And he said, your son don't deserve no justice. And she said, I didn't come for justice. I come for mercy. And he said, your son does not deserve any mercy. And she said the classic answer in all of history about repent. She said, if he deserved mercy... It wouldn't be mercy. So remember that stone. And now today, you have faith. This one's been talked about more than any, and nobody really understands. Uh, it's the evidence of things not seen. When you see me and you say, how would you get that in you, Harlan, about the Bible's an idol, and the Bible's a mark of the beast. It came from the Spirit. The Spirit gave My faith is in the Spirit. You see, if I get sick, I know Jesus will be there. He's never forsaken me. I don't call 911. My faith is not in books. See, it's too late for most people now. Their faith is in this book. Their faith is not in the Spirit. So I want to tell you about faith today and what it is. Faith is the one of the more simplest ones. The just lives by faith. Abraham was the father of faith. What made him the father of faith? Whatever God told him, he'd do it. He even took Isaac out to slay him. God told him to. Angel stopped him, of course, and he told Abraham, circumcise everybody. Abraham did it. Whatever God told Abraham to do, he would do it. He lived by faith from the Spirit. See, people, you know why people go to church? Because the Bible said, forsake not to assemble yourself together. Do you know why they pay tithes? Because in Malachi, it says, bring all the tithes into the storehouse. You see, you know why you see Mormons and on their bicycles and Jehovah's Witnesses out with the watchtower and the Baptists out visiting in the neighborhood because it says go into all the world and preach the gospel. They get that from the Bible. They don't go because God tells them. No, they don't do that because they don't assemble together because the Holy Ghost tells them. No, and they don't, They see, they go give the devil their money and they built Mr. Babylon. See, Holy Ghost people, they take their money and be free. See, you don't know you're a slave when you're out working. You, you hire yourself out for so much money. See, you can't buy or sell. If you tell them the Bible's an idol, they kick you off a job, you lose your job. So you can't buy or sell. You can't even sell yourself because this is the mark of the beast. There's been a big falling away. See, they fell away from faith. When, when you had faith on earth, you can read about it in the book of Acts. He'd say, Philip, join yourself to that chariot. Peter? Go over to Cornelius' house. Ananias, go over and lay hands on Paul. Paul, go to Macedonia. What's that? That's faith. Being led by the Spirit. That's faith. Jesus was telling them what to do. Now here's your classic, classic, classic for faith. Remember this. If you never remember, this is in history, but it rings true today. This apostle was going down the road to Damascus to get some more Christians because he uh, didn't believe in that way. He believed in the law. Well, the Lord appeared to him on the road to Damascus, and he fell off his beast. The light had blinded his eye. And he said, Who are you? And he said, I'm Jesus, who you persecute. It's hard for you to kick against the prick. And Paul said the classic word. He said, Lord, what would you have me to do? Now listen to what Jesus said. Jesus said, You go, and it will be told you what to do. Now that's faith. You go, and it'll be told you what to do. See, God, in diverse manner, in sundry manners and diverse ways, in the old days, through the law, he spoke to the people by the prophets. 
In these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Jesus came to me and told me the Bible's an idol. And he said, you're anointed to tell this. You're anointed to tell that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is Old Testament. And there's been a great falling away from the Spirit. And this is where the faith is today. They have no faith in the Spirit. They don't trust in the Spirit. Too much knowledge. See, they go through Bible college. They know too much to trust in God. I was a dumb hillbilly. I didn't know any better than to trust in the Spirit. He came to me when I was little, and I've loved him ever since. He's the only one who loved me, and I still love him today because he tells me where to go. He's told me what I'm telling you right now. God told me this. He wrote it in my heart. And I'm telling you that faith is simple. You just do what Jesus tells you to do. And people say, well, I can't hear him. Well, I say, you got to pray till you can. He'll tell you, you know what to do. You know what I'm telling you is the truth. It's too late for most people today. You see all these big churches, the Baptists, the Pentecostals, the Catholics, and Mormons, and Jehovah's Witnesses, Seventh-day Adventists, Church of Christ, all you different assemblies of God and people. It's too late for them. They already built their house on a book. They built it up on paper. And when they get out in the spirit world, when life's over, Jesus will tell them, I never sent you a book. I sent you the Holy Ghost. To have faith in God, you must go by the Spirit because God's a Spirit when you have the faith of God. See, faith don't come by hearing and hearing the Bible. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the voice of Jesus Christ. See, they, they interpolated that. It's all wrong. So this is your big stone for people in the world today because it's too late for you. It's too late for you. Remember, build your foundation on the Spirit. Jesus said, upon this rock I build my house which Peter said, uh, the Spirit revealed it to you. And then Jesus Christ, He is the one that speaks to us today. God speaks to us by His Son. He's the author and finisher of our faith. I go to Jesus. See, I pray in the Holy Ghost. I don't pray to the Holy Ghost. I pray to Jesus. And the Holy Ghost, Jesus tells the Holy Ghost what He wants for me. And that's the way I live. I live by the Spirit. Then when you repent, don't forget what, what the little woman said to Napoleon. He, Napoleon said, your son don't deserve mercy. She said, if he deserved mercy, it wouldn't be mercy. That's repentance. God has to grant you repentance. And then, in this uh, third stone, faith, it's as simple as falling off a log backwards. It's God telling you what to do. I wouldn't be here today if he hadn't told me what to do. See, I'd be out in some Baptist church or Pentecostal church picking my guitar if I went by the Bible. My faith would be in the Bible. But my faith is in the Spirit. And remember this. It's the evidence of things not seen. You're seeing a man that's 78 years old, been controlled most all my life by the Holy Ghost. And the reason I'm here is he wants you to know this. He wants you to overcome the mark of the beast. And that you won't be bitter. He wants you to have faith in him. Love him. He sent back the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus, for faith, which comes by you. You're the author and finisher of our faith. Let our faith be in the living God.